Hey guys, in this video I'll be breaking down a couple of things you may have missed in the teaser trailer for My Hero Season 5. The trailer was very brief, but there were a few interesting things that flew by quite quickly, so I thought I might talk about those. This video will mention some minor plot spoilers related to the footage in question, so if you want to avoid all spoilers then check out this video instead as it's kind of like a spoiler free overview of what to expect from Season 5. But with that said, the first main thing that was easy to miss happened during this sequence with Kaminari just charging forward. It was only on repeat viewings that I noticed Shinzo was frozen in the background and trapped inside the air prison. Back in Season 2, we saw Kosei Tsuburaba from Class 1B, and his quirk was Solid Air, which uh, was used to keep Bakugo away during the cavalry battle. Ultimately, Bakugo was able to punch through the Solid Air just with his fists alone, uh, but in Season 5, as you can see, he's had a bit of an upgrade, you know, he's improved his quirk over time, and he surrounded Shinzo with Solid Air from all angles. You can see the difference in the texture between Season 5 and Season 2, uh, I guess this is to reflect the upgrade in some way. Also, the box that Shinzo is in is completely soundproof, which means that no one can get brainwashed whilst he's in there. This moment from the trailer is meant to be a, uh, a replication of this moment in the manga, and I think the anime version is better because we see everything from a different angle and it lets us see more of Shinzo, which is not something I would ever complain about. Moving on, in one of the last shots of the trailer, we get a glimpse of Tokiyami's Black Fallen Angel, which is a move he learned during his internship with Hawks. This enables him to fly, which is not something we've seen him do by himself in previous seasons, and this handy diagram right here helps to explain the move a little bit more. Something which I missed on my initial viewings was that we do actually get to see one of the designated teams from the joint training arc. Specifically, Team 2, which has Kendo, Mushroom Girl, the manga guy who is perhaps the best gag character in this series, uh, and the guy with the black quirk as well, which uh, we'll be seeing animated for the first time. This was the only shot in which we see all members of one team in, in the same shot. As a side note, the guy with the black quirk was in one of my videos which ranked the best transformation quirks, so do check that out if you want to know more about what his quirk is. Additionally, we get a new look at Bakugo's winter costume, which, yeah, it looks great in the anime, and for those that don't know, this costume keeps his body warm during cold environments uh, because obviously his quirk requires sweat to activate his explosions. Deku summarized how it works in the manga, although Bakugo didn't really want to hear it. Um, but yeah, the point remains, with this suit he can generate powerful explosions even if the environment isn't really suited to him. Shinzo is perhaps the other character with the biggest costume upgrade, as we see his famous persona cords finally animated in one of the last uh, moments of the trailer. If you don't know what these do, then firstly I'm surprised you've watched the video this far, um, but also I'd recommend pausing it now if you don't want to know. The Persona Cores let Shinzo modify his voice to sound like a person of his choosing. All he has to do is wait for someone to talk, and then he flicks the side of the device, and then after that the metal plates kind of shift around to make Shinzo's voice sound like the voice that he just heard. The other costume changes we see in this trailer are pretty minor, for example, Momo has added a cape with an amulet around it, which I thought kind of makes her look like a wizard. This aesthetic makes perfect sense given the hero that she interns with later in the manga. Ojiro also added a thermal top underneath his gear as it's winter time, but Invisible Girl is still wearing nothing as usual. They really need to make her like a special suit out of her hair like they did for Mirio, because surely this can't continue, like it's just not practical to be, to be nude all the time. But yeah guys, that's all I had for this breakdown of what was a very brief trailer. Um, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to do one, but there was sufficient demand on the last video in the comment section, so here we are. Naturally, when we get a longer trailer, I will uh, spend way more time doing that, but um, yeah, that, this is all that was relevant from this teaser. Don't forget to hit that sub button, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, peace out.